Well, good afternoon, everyone. Jim Judge here with Volusia County Emergency Management. And, of course, uh, just a brief update on the situations here for Volusia County. Well, you know, a couple of days ago we were looking at uh, hurricane conditions. We were under a hurricane warning. Uh, but uh, luckily now we're under a tropical storm warning, which uh, certainly a little bit lower level situation and the conditions are uh, not forecast to be as bad as again as they were a couple of days ago. However, you know, we still anticipate some pretty significant weather overnight. Uh, we will have uh, some strong tropical storm force winds coming in along the coast. We do have one to two feet of storm surge and even a little bit higher between Ormond Beach and New Smyrna Beach. So be monitoring that closely as well. Um, also, uh, a couple of days ago, you know, based on uh, the conditions at that time, uh, we decided to open up four shelters, uh, two special needs shelters, one general population shelter, and a pet friendly shelter. Uh, we had the fairgrounds, we had Freedom Elementary, Galaxy Middle, and um, the um, DeLand High School. So really, uh, through the day today, we opened them at 8 o'clock this morning, and uh, nobody showed up. Uh, we only had a couple of people who then decided to go home. So all four shelters have, uh, have been closed at this point. And, of course, we are starting now to get some of those outer bands, and uh, so the weather will be deteriorating, you know, through the evening tonight and then certainly overnight. And we anticipate uh, the worst conditions to be around 3 to 4 o'clock in the morning with those sustained tropical storm force winds, but again along the coast. We will have two to four inches of rain uh, along the coast and then possibly one to two inches of rain inland. So, you know, gonna be a, a pretty blustery night tonight, but still conditions are favorable. If you still need to bring down the wind chimes, uh, bring down your hanging plants, pick up any items that may be around the yard that uh, could be picked up and blown by the wind. So good opportunity now to take those final precautions for your home and, uh, and also, uh, you know, just be careful uh, through the overnight hours. There's always the chance we could lose power. So if you have that AM, FM radio, uh, it might be a good idea to get it out, put the batteries in, make sure that it's working well, that if we do lose power overnight, uh, you know, you can stay in touch with, uh, with all of us uh, here at the Emergency Operations Center as well as with the local news uh, to be able to keep up for conditions for Volusia County. So with that, um, again, Overnight hours, still going to have some pretty good weather coming in with those sustained tropical storm force winds. But again, that's going to be right along the coast. Uh, windy conditions inland as well, but not as significant. Uh, so we continue to monitor the storm. And again, uh, tropical storm East Saias is offshore. And also the stronger winds are to the north and east, which uh, always the right front quadrant of a hurricane is going to be the most significant which also keeps those stronger winds and, and rain offshore. So that's also good news for us. So continue to monitor the weather as we do. Uh, you can also go to Weatherbug. We've got uh, several cameras uh, up on Ormond and uh, Ponce Inlet, as well as the main lifeguard center. And then also there's Weather STEM, Weather S-T-E-M. We've got a great uh, site down in Oak Hill and also a weather site also at Beach Headquarters. So you get great information, wind speeds and a lot of good weather information that we also monitor here at the EOC. So with that, thank you. Have a safe evening.